heads up. Anyways, so, hi guys, and you can video yell and do the book review on Goosebumps: How I Got My Shrunken Head. I hear a lot of praise for this book. People praise this book because how adventure it is, how us uh, how nice the scares were, and yes, the people are correct. This book is definitely amazing. Definitely one of my favorite Goosebumps books of all time. One of the best ones. In turn. In terms of how great the book is, it's not like uh, the best adventure book of all time or something. I mean, uh, The Beast in the East is actually the best this one's adventure book, but yeah, this is a pretty good one. So before we get more to the book, uh, let's discuss the plot. So we have a main character named Mark, who loves to play this game named Jungle King. Uh, that's nothing too much to explain. It doesn't really like... In the episode, I don't think it describes him having, having, having played Jungle King. I don't think it actually says that, but yeah. In the book, Mark has a sister. In the episode, he does not have a sister. In the episode, uh, he does not have a girl named Carolyn visit him and next bring him to Baladora to visit to meet his aunt. But uh, it doesn't have it in the have it in the episode. But in the book, it ha it does happen. Yeah, there's uh, so many differences between this and the book. I mean, in the book, uh, there's no guardians of uh, Doctor Hollings in the in the episode, there are guardian, there are like say sleeves, whatever of Doctor Hollings, which I think it's a good change. Uh, why does it keep uh, punching me in the face? I don't know about you, just hitting me in the face. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I think that I like the differences in the episode. Like, like I don't think Jessica was really that necessary in, in the book, and it's nice that uh, she she isn't in the book, and it's nice that uh, Doctor Hollings actually does have an army. Anyway, so uh, Mark goes to Balador to visit his aunt because she's missing, and they're trying, and they're trying to find her because uh, she got she got lost, whatever. And uh, they want, and they I think I think it says they want Mark to do to do this jungle magic. I think it says that. I could be wrong, but I think it does says that. So yeah, they try to find the aunt Benna. It's funny because David Popovich said that. Aunt Ben is Aunt Ben name, but actually it's Ben. It's weird. Have you actually mistake that name for Ben with Ben? Yeah. And I said, so Mark uh, tries to find his aunt, and next he keeps trying to, he keeps failing. And the adventure in this book is actually pretty nicely uh, told. Mark uh, enters a bunch of uh, like uh, stuff like quicksand and attacked by tigers. I think the tiger scene is the best part of the entire book. Sad that's not in the episode, but hey, at least we got a tiger. It's the first book in Goosebumps that it's the first book in Goosebumps to have a tiger. So yeah, it's a fun Goosebumps adventure. I won't say too much, just like that's uh, all I can say about this book. But yeah. But yeah. Oh yeah, I like the cover too with the with the shotgun head over there over there looking at the viewers. Yeah. He's like put my head on and it won't come off. Okay. Well I just said it's like on a mask. <laughs> So anyway, so uh, yeah, definitely enjoy this more than the Bomb Snowman. Definitely one of the one of the best books uh, in Goosebumps. Not like top twenty best, but one of the best. So I give this book like a nine out of ten. Yeah, nine out of ten. So yeah, out of the ones I reviewed, I think the Hot Mess Two is the book the book I like the most. But yeah, these two, but yeah, these two I enjoyed too. So yeah, next review will be Egg Monsters from Mars, so she's gonna die again, and. Uh, what was that other book? Um, Attack on the Jackal Lanterns. Yeah, that's the next one. Yeah, those three will be coming up tomorrow. And get your and get your uh, and get ready for Goosebumps Day on the on the thirtieth because it's getting twenty nine years twenty nine years old. So yeah, please uh, don't forget to to think what books you're gonna read on the tw on the thirtieth because it's becoming twenty nine years old. Yeah, pick. Yeah, don't forget to find the books you need to read for the for the thirtieth of July. Yeah. Bye guys.